Hello, so today we will be making an 8-bit ALU and we'll be using our previous modules from the previous assignments. It includes the half adder, full adder, ripple carry, subtractor adder, and or set less than module, multiplexer module. And so first off you need to create a file and then you're, you need to specify a few sources the first source would be a design source and you can um, make it by adding sources right here at the top you should have a time scale this indicates that there is one nanosecond per lap and right here On line 22, we have our half adder with input A, B, output C, and S. We have our SOAR gate with output S and input A and B. Same order here, but for the AND gate, and we have our output C and A, B. Input A, B. We have our N module. Next up is the full adder. We have our inputs, outputs. We have our wires. We're calling the half adder. We have an additional OR gate and we're mapping the ports. This is mapping by name. So we have our N module and then next up we have our ripple carry. Oops. Our ripple carry, our inputs, this indicates four bits each have our outputs, we have our wires, we're calling the full adder, and we're mapping the ports by order. Right here. And then we have our adder right here. This is indicating eight bits for the inputs each, and then also the output. And then we're calling our ripple carry, and we're mapping the ports right here. And then we have our subtractor, again, inputs, outputs, 8 bits each. We have our wire, 8 bits as well. We have our SOAR gate. These are all the SOAR gates. And it's, um, again, in order. And then we have our adder, that's called in here, mapping the ports. We have our end module. Next up is uh, the AND module. We have our inputs A, B, output Y. They're all eight bits. And um, here are all the AND gates mapped in order from least to most significant. And module we have up next is our OR module and inputs, outputs, these are the OR gates mapped by, yeah, mapped in order. And module, we had the set less than, and we have our input AB, and output, we have a register, and we have a register right here with the output because uh, we need we need for the always function and then we have the always and the symbol this indicates that it's waiting for a change on the signal we have our begin if a is less than b y is this number there's the else we have the end for the begin and end module Next up is the 8-bit multiplexer. My apologies in my, I believe it was the previous video, I said multiplier, but I actually meant multiplexer. And um, we have our inputs, all our inputs right here with uh, 8 bits. We have our S input, this is um, 3 bits. We have our output again reg because we're using the always function and 
right here, um, it's basically indicating that if there's any changes, it initiates execution. I believe these are procedural statements. I'm not quite sure about that because procedural statements seems very similar to behavioral statements. Uh, so we have all these numbers. We have our uh, case just for the begin. All these are uh, binary display drivers, each three bits. Um, so, for example, D1 or Y equals D1 would be S equals 0, 0, 001. And then we have this is the invalid output by default. Um, we have our end case and then end for the begin and end module. Next up, we have our ALU, and this is the 3-bit input, 8-bit input. We have our outputs, 8-bit put, eight output, eight result. We have our wires, also 8-bit. We have our AND gate, or AND module. I'm sorry, it's, rec it's uh, calling the AND module. And then we're mapping the ports, the OR module, adder, subtract, set less than, multiplexer, we added a NOR right here, mapping the ports. Right here, though, it's actually supposed to be one apostrophe B zero, and then right here would be one apostrophe B one but it would result the same actually or well, we'll see uh or you, you'll see in the, the the timing diagram but for now um i will keep mine and so from here we'll run the schematic under RTL analysis and then it should give you something like this let's let's make it bigger and we have our inputs right here A and B they're both 8 bits we have our fun cell which is uh, 3 bits yeah. and then as you can see it'll look something like that uh oh expanding it probably takes a while so i'm not gonna expand everything just because it will take like a while and you can't see everything okay here's the ores subtractor i believe the adder, the or, and then the and up here. And the set less than. It's interesting. We have our nor down here with an inverter. Some these are or gates, but it has an inverter to make it a. Nor, I believe. Um, we have our zero flag as our output. We also have the result as our output. Eight bits. This is our multiplexer, I believe. Yes, it should be. Um, and then after making a design source, you would need to make a simulation source. And you do that by, again, adding sources. And so you would have this uh, text editor. It should look the same with the time scale at the top. And then you're going to use the simulation source to make a test bench. The test bench would uh, 
simulate to make a timing diagram. First of all, we have our internal signal declarations right here. We have our vectors, also known as buses, our registers, all 8 bits, A, B, and fun cell. We have our wires, also 8 bit. Um, we have our another wire, integer i. Oh, and these are just additional comments I added in. Um, this is the 8 bit ALU. We're calling our design source and we're mapping the ports. Fun cell A, B, zero result. This is a uh, unit under test, basically. This, this doesn't really matter, but yes. Uh, we have our initial begin, so it's a stimulus for inputs. And then we have our A's and B's, all these bits. We have our display, we have our for loop, it's iterating. We have our begin, our fun cell, our test case, and end for the for loop. Again, A's and B's, um, our test case, so the finish, which stops the simulation, our end to the initial, we have our uh, test case, task, begin, uh, a delay of one nanosecond, we have our case, this is a case construct, um, we have all our displays right here. Uh, we have our end case. If statement uh, equals five, another display. Uh, and for the test case and task and end module. And when you run it to get the timing diagram, you have to press on run simulation right here under simulation press uh run behavioral simulation and you just need to wait for uh, like a little bit depending on your wi-fi connection probably and this is how it looks like so all the nanoseconds up here we see some hexadecimal values the a b And then the fun cell, the result, we have, yes, so this is the timing diagram. And so today we learned how to make an 8-bit ALU and we used like modules from the previous videos I made, so um, like Full adder, half adder, the set, set equal or set if less than is just only added for uh, this video. Uh, we have the adder and the subtractor. Added, we added more like uh, some uh, NOR gates, and I believe there was some OR gates. Yeah. So, thank you for watching.